Hello guys, welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial and in this one we're going to be continuing with our hairbrush and we've already created most of our object and last time we were creating the brushes and the actual bristles and what we're going to do now is um, look at a, a, a function called a create a pattern on path okay so um, we'll go ahead and actually select that pattern on path and um, we're going to select our object, which will be this, and the path that we want to create the pattern on. So that will be here and here. Now, notice it's not allowing us to select these other two sites. I'm not really exactly sure why. Probably something in my sketch. They are not somehow not, not joined up. Um, I'm not really sure exactly. But we have a workaround for that anyway, so that's not a problem. We're going to choose to do this um, symmetric, which means it'll come out in both directions. And we'll go as far as there. And then we will change the quantity. And we'll have, let's see, 18 of them. I think we need an even number, so we'll go for 90. Okay, 19 then. And now you'll see when we go OK, it's going to create 19 new objects here. So it's starting to get a little bit busy. So we can tidy that up by selecting this, create a new component, which we'll call this uh, ring um, bristle ring one. Okay. And I'm going to move all of these 19 bristles that we just made, plus our original one, into there. Okay, so that tidies things up a little bit. All right. And now I'm going to mirror this. Oh, sorry, there is one thing I forgot to do. You look at the angle of those, they are not correct. Okay. Um, let's go back here to where we created our pattern. We edit this. Okay, so you look at the angle of those is not correct. So instead of identical, we're going to go to path direction. And now it will align them as we need them to be. Okay. So okay there. And then there we go. So we have those nicely arranged as we need them. And now we're going to mirror this. Go to create mirror. So we'll select the objects we're going to mirror, and our mirror plane will be this, and mirror it now to the other side. Okay? And we can drag that inside of there. It keeps everything tidy. Okay, so there's our outer ring. Now we can do the same, basically, with the inner ring. So um, we can hide that, and we will go to create pattern on path. The component we're going to Use the path going to follow. Make sure we set that to path direction. It's going to be symmetric and we drag that out. And we change our quantity. Now it's not going to be 18 or 19 this time, it will probably be a little bit less. for 17. Let's check that against the spacing. Probably looks about right. So I have 17 this time. Again, it's going to create all those objects. So we will create a new component. We call this bristle ring 2. And into here, we're going to drag all of these Okay, and then again, we will mirror this. So we create a mirror, select the plane, and we'll drag that inside there. So you can see basically how we are building this up. So 
very quickly, we're able to create what's quite a complex um, kind of object. This one. Okay. So same again. Create pattern or path. Our object this time will be this one. Path here and here. Drag that out. Symmetric, put it to our extents, and this time maybe we're going to have around 15. So this is going to be the same thing again. This is bristle ring 3. So we'll take. All these plus this one. Again, we're going to mirror that. Place it inside there. So now you got it. We're going to repeat the same thing again, basically these uh, last two, um, uh, sorry, last three. So again here, create pattern, pattern on path, select a path, symmetric, in the path direction, round to our extents, this time we're going to have around 12. 13, create a new component, this is bristle ring 4, oops, what's going on there? Take all of these plus this one, create a mirror. I'm sure you got the idea by now as to what we're going to be doing. Here we go. Okay. Now, bear with me while we did the last two. Um, what I'm going to do uh, is show you how we can actually go back now and add some color to these bristles here. So um, this basically now is our hair brush object. Uh, we're also missing one bristle there on the outer edge. I'll correct that uh, later. Um, so we might want to also add some color to these bristles. So in our timelines, we can go back to where, say, original objects were were constructed. Um, so we could go to this point in the timeline, for example. So a roller history marker to there, and then we're going to make a change here. I'm going to edit the appearance. And I'm going to change this so that it's a black plastic. And that applies to the cylinder, but then the top of the sphere here, 
want to change the color of that. So let's go with a yellow plastic for that. You'll see when I drag this across, it's going to remove and, and change everything. So um, we need to choose to let's just undo that. We need to choose to apply the appearance to faces instead. Now I can just put it onto that face only. Okay, so now we've done that, we can roll the history marker back to the end. You can see it hasn't, uh, we've lost that color. Because when we made our copies earlier, we chose to paste new instead of paste. If we'd have um, pasted, uh, sorry, we chose paste new instead of paste. If we'd have chosen just paste, then when we made that change, it would have applied to everything. As you can see here, actually, it, uh, that change has not applied. If we go back here, it's there. But then it disappears when we create the um, component from this. So we need to try playing this instead after we already made it into a component. So you now when we made a copy of it, it has not copied the material. So we'll apply it to each one of these back here. So this just uh, kind of shows how you can use the timeline feature to go back and make changes to an object. And then have those changes cascade through. And you can see it's not been applied to the mirrored objects. I'm not 100% sure why it did not apply it to the mirrors, but that's easily fixed also. Um, so we will find on the timeline where we created those um, mirrors. Be here, you see, you have a mirror, those brushes. So we'll 
go to our first member command, which would be this one. No, we have the member command before that. Yeah. First one here is our outer ring. Role history marked here. Yeah. Edit feature. Okay, and there you see now it creates the mirror correctly. So you just kind of have to go back and allow it to run those um, features again. And this time when it creates the mirror, it's now mirroring with the correct color applied to it. Okay. So there we go. Um, that basically is how we can um, use the um, create a pattern on a path tool and how we can use the timeline to go back, make changes, and edit um, objects and how they're going to appear in the future um, through the timeline. So you can go back and you can correct kind of mistakes that you may have made in your timeline. Um, or, or make changes and ha see how they cascade down through everything else. Okay, so um, I will finish this off um, off screen, and when you join in the next tutorial, um, all the brushes will be done. I'll just I'm just going to do the same as what you just saw. I'm going to um, create these on a path uh, to finish off creating all those brushes, and then when we come back we will be looking at creating the rest of the, um, um, the handle of the brush and then we're done.